This video, I learned to beat Minecraft in under one hour. This includes building a portal, collecting blaze rods, and killing the dragon. So, how many worlds will it take me to do a sub-hour speedrun? Who knows, but how hard could it be? I had no idea what I got myself into, but with high hopes, I loaded World 1. Time was ticking, so I dug down, made my first set of tools, and killed some animals. Parkoured into a village house and stole the bed. I collected some hay and was feeling pretty confident after stealing their stuff, and decided to take on the iron golem. Yeah. <laughs> It was a mistake, but you live and learn. So I went back and killed the iron golem. I asked the sheep for directions and found some gravel. I made some flint steel and had a little bit of fun killing some animals. I had to get food, of course. Just when I thought I was done, I found a whole bunch more, then found a cave. It was time to say goodbye to my first pick. But I didn't waste any time, so I cut down some trees and burnt the rest of the forest. You know, this might seem counterintuitive to, uh, to burn the forest down, but here's my thought process. If it's burning, then that means it's lit up. And if it's lit up, I'm not gonna get creepered from behind. With the defenses in place, I made a furnace and went mining. Like, a lot of mining. Probably too much mining. Whoa, whoa! I didn't really know what to do at this point, so I dug straight down. I found some lava, but it wasn't enough for a portal, so I went right back up. It was a waste of time. In the meantime, I made some iron armor and was basically invincible, so I wasted no time and left the cave. We were just over 20 minutes at this point, and I realized if I was the world record holder, I would have beaten the game by now. But I'm not, so I admire the scenery and failed some MLG. I heard some lava in the wall, dug in, and found my first lava pool. Yes! I got straight to work, but had no idea what I was doing. So I made sure to make an anti new wall. Then I kind of scuffed together the portal and made it to the nether, only to realize that it was a very bad start. So I did some bridging and did some digging, and then ran away from some piglins. I turned off the fog using Obdefine. This is legal, right? Ignoring any felonies I committed, I killed a piglin, found a ruined portal, did some trading, locked around for a bit, and didn't mean to get that achievement. I found a bastion when I was hoping to find another fortress, but it works. I must have been a little too excited, though. <gasps> World 2 was pretty typical. I dug a tree, got some stone, and got some iron. Then I spent the next couple minutes killing some fish and getting some gravel. Then I used the flint to make flint and steel and killed a chicken. Killed a couple zombies while I was at it, snagged a water bucket, and then found a lava pool. Lava pool. Didn't really know what I was doing, so the new wall helped a lot. I eventually scrapped it together and made it to the nether, though. Once there, I did some bridging and found a ruined portal. At minute 16, we found a nether fortress. It took a while to find the blaze spawner, but I got it in the end, killed a couple, and was off to get some ender pearls. The enderman was pretty dangerous, though, and I even got down to half a heart. Run! <laughs> And then I was doing pretty good, but you know, all dreams have to be crushed at some point. Huh. No. All right, third time's the charm, right? Let's get a time on the board. A mesa, that's lucky, right? It was a normal start, but I had to dig two holes for stone. Don't ask. I found a village and a mine shaft pretty early on, but there were skeletons. I was out of there. Then it was time to mine. It is Minecraft after all, but after two creepers and a skeleton, I was gone. I got some hay from the village and spotted a rune portal in the distance. It was a big one and my methods were nothing short of unconventional bull, but what works, works, eh? Well, unless you spill water all over it. The nether went pretty well though. I mean, a nether's a nether. I even killed an enderman. <sighs> Lava died to lava. World 6. You might be saying, where did 4 and 5 go? Good question. World 6 seemed like a dud, but after I got on top of a tree, it was definitely a dud. World 7. It was a spruce forest and I managed to find a shipwreck, but it wasn't great or anything, so we lasted 3 minutes. Then we had a dud and a dud, but then I found a village and started dismantling it and took their hay. I took most of their beds for my own and really tried to kill an iron golem, but I just can't seem to do it right. Oh, hey, look at that, I did it. I spent the next 10 minutes in the dark, mining, and then almost died to a creeper. It's not like I was walking on thin ice or anything. Killed an enderman and looted a chest. Snowballs should come in handy. And I think I finally managed to figure out how to make a portal. Well, sorta. I made it to the nether and, oh yeah. That's a problem. I started building a bridge, but I'm a professional Minecraft player, so I cooked some potatoes as well. The bridge was going great until I ran out of stone. So I used a furnace and some wood until I could reach the new netherite. I broke my legs, found a chest, and then tried to dodge some wither skeletons. I backtracked because there were no blaze spawners, but I saw another nether fortress off in the distance, so I did some parkour and bridging and decided it was a good idea to fight a skeleton with a bucket. Oh, and that's not where it gets bad. I got pelted by a blaze and got down to half a heart. I was surprised to learn that 30 minutes had gone by but everything was under control. Trust me. I'm pretty sure I killed more wither skeletons than anything else. Ah! <laughs> I about had a heart attack there. I'm a professional though, so I ran away. But it wasn't a very good place to run away because this happened. Then we had a dead street. Dead. 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 Mega dead. 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 
dead. What are we at? Oh yeah, 27. 27 was a good world because there was a desert. I wandered like a nomad for several minutes, and I can't remember why this was special. Oh yeah, the iron golem. It probably wasn't a good idea to continue considering I died, but I really just wanted to beat it once. I mean, I'm trying to do it in under one hour, but I haven't done it yet. So I trekked along through the desert, found another village, killed the iron golem. I think I'm getting pretty good at this. Found rune portal and had some trouble mining. But I managed to make myself a portal and head to the nether. Gathered some blocks and found a bastion. To be honest, I've never really found a bastion like this, but man, it looks cool. And then right about here, I, I definitely meant to fall down. Hey, bills for the wind. But I started to mine some gold and piglins started flooding in from everywhere. I totally thought I was gonna die, but you know, we're professionals, you know? Yeah, okay, fine. Hey comes in for the win again. It took a really long time to knock all these brutes off because they are super tough. But once I did that, I mined all the rest of the gold and got some pretty good loot. I mean, who needs one diamond chest plate when you could have two? both enchanted. At this point, I honestly couldn't believe my luck. I was getting netherite, gold, iron, I was getting everything in the world, and I had easy two stacks of gold to trade with the piglins, so what could go wrong? Well, a lot of things, apparently. So I traded with them, and I traded with them some more, and then I kept trading, and I managed to get a total of six ender pearls. I don't know what was going against me. Ugh, I couldn't get any ender pearls. By now, we were almost a half hour in, so I decided to kill at least one ender. Oh, totally meant to do that. <laughs> Half a heart. I made sure to build myself a wall because I wasn't really a fan of those piglins. Right about now, I was just sick of this. I spent two stacks of gold to get no ender pearls. So I kind of just ran around the nether placing blocks and uh, had a little bit of fun with it. And then I got this achievement. But finally, I found a fortress. And this time, it actually had a place spawner. I was getting a little wrecked by the mobs, but then I remembered I have a fire resistance potion. So then nothing could stop me. All of the blaze rods were mine. And then I knew I was hurting for time, so I sprinted back on the soul speed and had a bit more trouble killing an enderman, but snagged the pearl and got out of there. Continued to place more blocks, because, you know, jumping and placing blocks is pretty fun. And then at this point, I almost died, but, you know, made it. Remember that, though. It's important. I ran around the deltas, found nothing, and then turned back. You're dead. And there is the lava fall again. Made a pretty snazzy jump, feel like a true speedrunner, even though I'm at 42 minutes. There we go. We got two achievements that we didn't mean to. Enderman is down. Piglin is down. And my axe is also down. Like seriously, do people normally break their iron axes on a speedrun? I don't think so. I think I just had terrible luck. Then, even though I didn't have enough eyes of Ender, I went out because I was just sick of it. Oh my gosh, no. it broke! Okay. Nice, calm village. I continued doing the parkour jumpy thing because, you know, pretty fun. And then I met an army of baby zombies. Not so fun. But I decided to light them on fire because, you know, what else are you going to do with them? <gasps> Enderman. Yes. So, as you can see, I killed a few more Endermen, but I almost died. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> Remember, though, we're professionals here. Yes. At this point, I remembered I should probably start digging down to get to the stronghold. I had a little bit of trouble with some skeletons and creatures, though. Get out of here, you... Once I was free, I decided to butcher a couple chickens to get some arrows. What am I doing? I have a stack of arrows. I just wasted like three and a half minutes. Where's my hole? So, I went back to the mine. Ho, ho, ho! We're here! And then it began. The beginning of the end, also known as opening every single door in the stronghold until you find one. Yes! I made quick work of the silverfish spawner and filled in all the eyes. With one to spare. Then, I went through! And I spawned in the middle of nowhere, so I pillared up to start shooting the crystals. I had some good shots, and I had some bad shots, but they were all down in the end. Bed strat. I don't know how to do this, actually. Probably something you shouldn't be saying. No! There's one more? I dodged some dragon breath, then headed up because I really just couldn't hit the last one. Whew, that was really close for comfort. And that was definitely too close because the dragon hit me twice in a row and I died. No! Thankfully, I sent my spawn. So I raced back as fast as possible, but had to end up punching some endstone. Then I got my stuff and decided it was time to kill him with some beds. Oh my gosh! Again, we're professionals here. Yeah, I mean, everything's on fire, but we're fine. There's nothing left but to kill Holy the dragon. Stop! <laughs> Although, it did have its glitches. What? Where's the drag- The dragon's disappearing! Stop! Yeah, we had some issues with Enderman. Can't see the dragon. Oh. Yes! Yes! 
So, we did it in 1 hour and 19 minutes. Not bad for the first Ender Dragon kill. It was about now that I realized I had a lot to learn. So far, I've only been trying intuitively, but I thought I'd try some videos and see what I could learn. I watched a couple and I did find some useful things. For example, did you know that you do more damage when you hit the dragon in the head? Or like to break dead bushes while you're running through a desert to get sticks? Maybe the a pillager outpost means that there's a village nearby. How about using buttons to blow up a house so the iron golem doesn't get mad at you? But I actually learned a lot. And yes, I did learn how to make a portal correctly. So with my newfound skills, we started another world. World 28 was a dud. And the next one was a dud too. But then we had a good one. I crossed the river into the desert and broke some dead bushes to get some sticks. The tips are coming in handy. First desert temple. The race was on. Broke my legs, took some TNT, and the desert temple actually had some decent gear. Holy notch apples! I pillowed out, crafted an iron pickaxe, found a lava pool through my subtitle technique, and regretted crafting that iron pickaxe. Oh, why did I make an iron pick? Yeah, I needed a bucket. Killed a bunny, dug some gravel, killed a cow, and smelted some food. Found iron in a pool, and made a bucket. Four minutes later, I killed a chicken and found a ruined portal. Holy armor. I took the gold and went back to my own portal. Although, new barriers were still required, even if I didn't need them this time. Oh my gosh, like a professional? Let's Maybe a bit of an overstatement, but I was proud of it. Are in the nether, are you kidding me? I blocked around a bit, made a whale needed shield, and blew up some netherrack to get some blocks. Then, I went up into the fortress. The blaze spawner was really close, so I had no trouble getting all the rods. Well, I mean, a little fire doesn't hurt you. No! We were at about 19 minutes, and I think we are on track. Yes, seven! Okay, we're good to go. Go, 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 go. I made a bit of a stumble out of there, but I managed to survive. Oh, scary. Now, it was time to grind for ender pearls. So, with some gold and slaying techniques, I managed to get a couple without completely dying. Golden apples can fix almost everything. Killed another enderman, then decided to go back to the fortress. Hey, look at that. We got some diamonds. Blocked around for a bit because this is the best fun you can have. And then while I was fighting an enderman, I almost died. Oh my. Checked another gapple and killed the enderman. At this point, I've been exploring for quite some time, so I got this achievement. And then went back to my messy old room. The bartering area. I was kind of losing hope because I've only gotten three ender pearls so far and we're already at 33 minutes. But I pressed on. And after another 10 minutes, we had a grand yes! total of five ender pearls. That's it. Five ender pearls. Ten more minutes later and we had six ender pearls. Yeah, Minecraft wasn't being nice to me. I had a near-death experience. Oh my gosh, I'm almost dead. And again, did not mean to get that achievement. Please, please, you don't see me, you don't see me. Oh yeah, I had a gas problem. You don't see me? No, 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 no! And I still got hit by the explosion, but we're fine. I threw my first ender eye, and I'll leave you with this screenshot to show you how it went. I boated for a while and made the realization that I wasn't doing so well. Oh, this recording's over an hour. I continued rowing, then decided to continue continue rowing. Rowing on a boat. I quickly looted the nearby temple and found a spot to dig straight down. Come on, stronghold. Yes, we're in, we're in. And I found it within 30 seconds. <gasps> yeah, let's go, let's go. And I'm one short. Mm. I was left with no choice but to explore the stronghold. I found an enderman and decided I had to go for it. This was my final chance. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. No! It was a mistake. And I didn't set my spawn point, so it was back to the drawing board. You're joking me! No! Are you kidding me? To say the least, I was disappointed. But I made a boat and decided to head back. I know it was pointless because it's already past an hour, but I wanted to get the practice. It was night by the time I arrived, and things didn't go so well for me. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. No! Let me down! Let me down! Ah! This is the worst technique ever. Oh! Are you kidding me? Nope, that actually happened. So I made another boat and went back. The path was definitely getting easier to remember, but I didn't really like it. One hour and 14 minutes, it was okay, but not the best, especially because I lost my stuff. But I was back and I did it the right way this time by mining straight down instead of falling. Nope, dodged the creeper, but got hit by the witch. What? So I dug a little scary cat hole around the witch, but eventually realized that I had to go through the witch. Thankfully, she wasn't there. And then I got to the spot where I died. This is where I died. No! My stuff despawned? Yeah, I mean, I guess after dying twice, that probably loads the chunk long enough for five minutes to pass. Not my greatest moment. I used the nether portal that I made previously, and I'd like to say that I gave it my best shot and came back and won, but I really didn't. It was a sad day for me. Still, in the end, I got to the stronghold in about an hour, and if anything's proved by this piglin fight, I'm getting a little bit better at PvP. Well, sorta. World 33. It was a snowy world, and I broke my legs, then found a village, but it wasn't that good. World 34. It was a desert biome, so I was pretty excited. I collected some sticks, then stumbled across my first village. Blacksmith, yes. I looted the chest and stole all the furnaces. Took some hay and killed an iron golem. Definitely getting pretty good at this. About five minutes in, I found a desert temple, so I did the only logical thing. 
I broke my leg. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh. What? No. No. Five, not, five golden apples. I can't ruin this luck. I didn't mean to, but I took that statement as a challenge. I pillared out of there. A couple minutes later, found a lava pool that needed some flint. Finished the portal, then got distracted with a ravine. I then made some diamond tools, went to the nether, and killed an enderman. Yes. The next 10 or so minutes were spent trying to find a fortress, and I had a few mishaps. Thank goodness for golden apples. Can't believe I got five. No. Oh my. Then I did a bit of a dream strat and got on a strider. Dreaming it. He carried me for a while, but I had to say goodbye to him at some point. I started going up to the nether fortress, but saw oh, an oh. enderman. Hey. No pearls, though. I kept exploring the nether fortress, but had a little bit of trouble with the wither skeletons. No! Oh my word! Oh my word! We were all fine, though. I had five golden apples. Oh! Until this moment when uh, I kind of got wrecked. No! World 34. Was it dead? World 35, on the other hand, was off to a pretty good start. Got some wood, got some sticks, found a village, and got my first pieces of stone. Only to die to an iron golem. World 36 didn't last long. World 37 started with a pillager outpost. Whoa. I made it in to get to the chest. Oh no! Oh no! But it was a dead world. And 37 too. World 38 was off to a pretty good start. I spawned in a plains biome, spotted a lava pool, got some wood, stone, tools, and gravel. Then I no found this. No way. It had some iron in it, so I used it to make some yes. flint steel to light a cow on fire. Then I spent the next 10 minutes getting some iron. Getting a full suit may have been a mistake, but hey, at least I was protected. And built up the courage to go to the nether. I found a fortress yes. right off the bat, which was really good. Oh yes. Yes. And I even found a ruined portal. I burnt myself on it, gathered some blocks, and went up to the fortress. Got burnt again, and then, well, I'll just let the scene play oh. out for you. Oh gosh. Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Lots of oh my goshes at that moment. I thought I was dead for sure, no. but no. I somehow made it out alive. Before this I did, though, I was actually here. able to cook some stuff. What are you doing here? Oh my gosh. Get out of here, please. I found a blaze spawner, got lit on fire, and I was making pretty good time at this point. We are 14 minutes in, so I dug over to the spawner. I had some trouble Gosh, with wither skeletons and pigment, though. Oh. Now this was my moment to shine. No. 17 minutes How in, we were you? making some good progress. Oh, what was that? Oh yeah, no. we died. I was determined to finish this one, though, so we went back, got lit on fire again, ate some food, and got our stuff, only to die by fire. No! Take three was a little bit better, though, because we actually got our stuff this time. Although, we were on yes. fire for a second. After three deaths and a lot of pain, I made it out of the nether. And I did what any sane person would do when they don't know what to do. I killed some cows. Then, I found a horse, which was actually pretty fast. I spent the next five minutes riding around on a horse, but couldn't find any villages. I so, I went back to the portal and hoped that I didn't die. I made a bridge, got some gold, and found a bastion. I figured that I could get quite a bit of gold out of this bastion so I could trade it for ender pearls. But then, well, I guess you need to see this clip. You see, I was trying to get rid of the pickle and brutes, but didn't realize that the other ones would get mad at me. And then, well, I almost oh, escaped. Oh, no! World 40 was a nice round number, but it was a dud. World 41, I found a desert and a desert temple. It had some decent loot, I guess. And I'm starting to get good at getting down to it. Made a shovel, got some gravel, and killed some livestock. Then I found a ruined portal, but really couldn't find the chest. So I came back later that night to blow it up. And it uncovered a bit of lava, which I used to start making my portal. Then I spent the next couple of minutes breaking some crying obsidian. Made it to the nether, got this achievement, and jumped around for a bit. Got some blocks with some TNT, but then made a house of TNT, because this really just wasn't a good run. It was a good way to, to end it, though. Off with a bang. After that terrible end, I was hoping World 42 would be different. I found a desert oh. immediately and did some parkour to get down. Then I stole some hay, as usual. Found a lava pool, made a portal, and I thought I was getting pretty good at it. Went to the nether, found a fortress pretty quickly, and killed my first blaze. We were 10 minutes in, I found some loot and killed some skeletons. Then dug for a while and found a blaze spawner. I was pretty optimistic until this happened. No! We were on to 43 and getting pretty close to the 50. It was a dud, but 44 was not. I wandered the desert like a nomad, found a village, and killed the iron golem. Took some hay, got a lot of food, and found a ruined portal. I then built a portal, went to the nether, and found a fortress fairly quickly. I was wandering a bit, got on top of the fortress, didn't know where I was, dug straight down, and well, no! What are you- World 45 was maybe the quickest one yet. And then we hit World 46. This one was pretty lucky. Found a desert, then a village, looted it all, and found a desert temple. Notch Apple? No way! Looting three? No! No! Looting three? Are you- You're joking me.
I was pretty shocked we got looting free, but I wasn't shocked enough. I was a little bit too reckless and ended up dying. No! That's impossible. I ran out of desperation to find it, but killed myself instead. I went searching again, but still couldn't find it and decided to go into creative mode to see what the run would have been like. Still though, I was wasting my time, so I ended the world. I skipped world 47, but 48 and 49 were both duds. World 50, on the other hand, was pretty good. The normal stuff went by fairly quickly. I destroyed a house, killed an iron golem, and got some bread. But after seven minutes of walking, I decided it was done. World 51 was a dud. 52, though, was a dud. World 53 was pretty good because it had a desert, and I found a ruined portal which had some decent gear. Then I went walking around for a few minutes, found a desert temple, and got some okay stuff. But not before I got sidetracked by a sunken ship. I went back to the desert temple and looted it, then pillared out. Got some stone, killed some animals, and found a ruined portal. Almost burnt to a crisp while making the portal, but I made it. Went to the nether and found a bastion. Then I spent a couple minutes killing the piglins and looting all of the stuff. I made some armor and stole the rest of their gold, then went on a pillaring expedition. This jump right here, well, I thought it was one of those special plants. What? Made a fishing pole, then continued bridging for a while and parkouring all over the place. I eventually found a nether fortress. Yes! Got all the blaze rods I needed, then traded a bit and found a strider. The Strider was a little tricky to get Let's to, but he go. was very important. I had to kill him, though. Then I continued pillaring around the nether and went back to the original biome to continue trading. I wasn't getting super great luck, so I made a bet. No, I wasn't going to kill myself. Almost got blown up by a ghast and went back to the village. I blew up a whole bunch of houses and continued trading. I haven't really tried this strat and it hasn't worked out, but this time it actually did. You blow up a whole bunch of houses, collect their wood, and sell it back to the villagers. Then you use that to upgrade a cleric to get ender pearls. Sometimes this doesn't work and that's a bit frustrating, but this time I got one. I went back to the nether for a second, but finished my trading and got all the ender pearls I needed. Something went right today. Blew up a house, took their hay, and was on my way. I boated around for a bit, found the location of the stronghold, and started digging straight down. I found the stronghold, but had to search around for a bit and almost got blown up by a creeper. I found it in the end, though. So I started sorting out my That's inventory, but realized I didn't have a bow. Oh, no. Then I was on a quest to kill some spiders or get some cobwebs. It took several minutes, and this happened. No. But we were fine. Oh, we're professionals here. So I got the bow and made it to the end. It was an hour and 15 minutes in, so we weren't completing the challenge. But I wanted to practice anyway, so I got to work. And it was all going well until this happened. No! So I had to go back through the portal, but I had no way up. Thankfully, I killed the Enderman and he actually dropped a portal. So I made it back to my stuff, collected my gear with shame, and went back at it again. But after one hit, the dragon left. One hit? Are you kidding me? I was all out of arrows, so I had to pick up my missed shots from the ground. The next time I engaged the dragon, I got a whole two hits before he left. What? Stop bleeding! I was really struggling at this point. Thankfully, I survived. Oh, you little muffin. Well, mostly. I survived mostly. But no! You stupid girl! This time around, I got some wood so I could actually make it back a second time, and then finally killed the dragon. Oh my gosh, I did. Just under an hour and a half, so we were improving, but I was still struggling. I had trouble seeing, so I got a brightness texture pack. World 54 started out pretty well because I saw a pillager outpost which meant there was a village. I looted the village, then had trouble with the iron golem. <gasps> No! So I went back, killed the iron golem, and got all the resources, found a desert temple, then moved on to the lava pool. I made it into the nether in 14 minutes. It didn't take long for me to die. World 55 spawned me right next to a village, so I did all the normal stuff, found a desert temple, and started making the portal. I had a lot of fun with the hay bales in the nether, but I did some useful stuff like making a bridge and fighting an enderman, which didn't go What? Well. World 57 started out with a village, which was pretty nice, so I destroyed their house. Made some bread, and then made the portal. I had a little bit of trouble, though. Oh, what am I doing? Once I was in the nether, I was able to kill an ender. Two ender pearls? No way. Broke my stone pick, made a new one, and then killed a ghast. I found a bastion, got some more Look. ender pearls. Oh my gosh. What? That's like four in a row. That's five in a row. And did a bit of looting. The hay bales came in handy once again. By this time, I started setting up some trading operations and went looking for a nether fortress. I found one, although it wasn't very friendly, and I found this really strange. Oh my thing. gosh, that's scary. Then it was time to collect blazes, so I killed all the blazes I need and then promptly left. Okay, I got what I came for. Traveled back through the deltas and had some trouble with the piglin brutes. I killed them, though, and made a portal so I could place down a bed just in case I died. We were only 24 minutes, and I had some hope. I was able to kill a whole bunch of piglin brutes without dying. So I continued Another the process of collecting more gold, trading it, and getting the ender pearls. After looting the entire bastion and trading stacks of gold, I only Damn. had seven ender pearls and was kind of sick of it, so I went looking for the stronghold. Anyways. I made some dumb mistakes by swimming across an entire ocean, but eventually found the stronghold, even if I fell into lava first. 
Then it was time to explore. I ran into several creepers, and it took an entire 10 minutes to find the portal room, but I finally got it, only to realize I still had a long way to go. So I made a portal and went back to the nether to get a few more ender rooms. And this is where it went bad. I started losing hope and died. Oh my gosh. Then I got my stuff and no. died again. No! No! That was the end of World 57. I'd seen lots of speedrunners use a smaller GUI, so I tried that. Got a desert for a spawn, but then shortly quit. World 59, I got some wood, but then quit. World 60 was an island, so I quit that too. World 61, I found a chest, but also quit that world. World 62 was special because I found a rune portal right off the bat and got down to half a heart. I survived though and managed to scrap things together enough to make it to the nether. However, the nether was terrible, so I had to bridge and keep bridging until I made it to a fortress. Once in the fortress, I killed some mobs, but then got cornered by a whole bunch of mobs and slowly withered oh. to death. World 63, I made it to the nether in five minutes, which was really good for me, but then I made a bit of a mistake and had some glitches to death. World 64 was an island dub, and World 65 was a forest dub. World 66, I found a desert temple, killed some pigs, and found another desert temple, this time managing to survive with a water bucket. Made it to the nether, explored for a little bit, but then got hit off by a magma slime. World 67 was good for a whole 13 minutes, and if you can't tell, I'm getting very, very sick of doing the same thing over and over. This time, we died to lava. We skipped World 69, got some gravel, got some stone, dug down, made a bucket, and lit some sheep on fire. Then it was time for the portal. When I went into the nether, I forgot some wood, went back, got some wood, made a shield, then shortly died to a magma slime. On to 71. Now at world 71, I was very excited for. I found a temple right off the bat, so I went down and immediately got blown up by a creeper. No! I didn't take that as a bad sign though, because there's a lava pool and a village. So I got some wooden stone again, then looted the village. Took the iron, killed a skeleton, and got some more gravel. Then I found another temple and took this TNT without a creeper blowing up. I found some diamonds, then pillared out. Found a ruined portal, then spent several minutes breaking the Krang Obsidian. I made my own portal, decided not to get an axe, and went traveling through the nether. The hay bales came in clutch. I found a fortress in a half hour, got the blaze rods I needed, then left. Then I pulled another strider strat, went back to the overworld, only to realize I was underground. So I spent the next couple of minutes looking for the stronghold, and I fell straight into a ravine, but the stronghold was right there waiting for me. However, I didn't have enough ender pearls. So I went back to the nether, traded a bit, then went back to the overworld to find some ender pearls. And well, I just wasn't having great luck. I brought a whole bunch of zombies though, and I found a horse. So I went back to the fortress, realized I just didn't have that many ender pearls. So I promptly ended the world. 73 started off really well. I made it to the nether in almost five minutes, but I had to get some wood. Once I was in the nether, I did some bridging, got some gold, and then got snack attack. But I managed to block him off until I got snack attack again. World 74 was a dead. World 75 is spawned next to a ravine, got some gravel, hay, and killed the iron golem. Then I made a portal as quickly as I could with the rune portal and found a bastion in the nether. Then I went to work trying to get all of their gold, but somehow I guess I managed to let some pickle and sneak in. 76 though started off pretty well. It started off with a blacksmith, then moved on to the iron golem, and I actually found a lava pool by hearing it. I went to the nether, did a ton of trading, and I should note that I actually changed versions to 16.1 because that's one of the biggest things I was doing wrong. I was doing it in 116.4, which the ender pearl trade is about eight times harder to get. But I finally got all the things I needed and managed to do the entire nether portion in under half an hour. Things were going really well at this point. I mined straight down, but couldn't seem to find the stronghold. So I was actually on my way back up to go check again when oh. I found the entrance. Oh. I was very excited, completed the end portal, and went into the end to fight the dragon. We have 20 minutes to kill the dragon, so got it. it's basically in the bag. I shot down all the crystals, made it down safely, but then, something really bad happened. The dragon actually killed me, so I had to respawn. I respawned with nothing. Thankfully though, I dropped off some dirt on the ground, just in case this happened. So I dug back up, pulled it up, and went back at it. Just as a precaution, I threw some blocks back on top of the pillar in case I had to come back again. I got my stuff, then dropped off some excess quartz and went to kill the dragon. We had 15 minutes to do this, and I ended up using some beds to get the dragon below half health. This was very, very close. Then it took about five minutes for the dragon to come back again, so I hit him, then it launched up. I failed the MLG water bucket, which was a huge disappointment. Again, I had no blocks to pillar up, so I broke the granite, got the quartz, and pillared out We still had eight minutes, but I didn't know how to attack the dragon, and I actually lost my water here, so I died. I used the remaining quartz to pillar out once again. I got my stuff and tried to snag the water, but I died to the dragon breath. These were my darkest hours. I literally had to punch the end stone, and by the time I got done, we only had a few seconds left. So I raced back, 
got my stuff. This was by far the worst part of the entire challenge. I had 20 minutes to kill the dragon, and because I didn't know you were supposed to stand in his nest and wait for the dragon to come to you, I failed. I eventually beat it, but I was four minutes over. World 77 was a dud in 50 seconds. World 78, I found a desert pretty quickly on, and then a village. So I stole some of its hay, killed the iron golem, took a bed, and found a ruined portal. I went to the nether, but decided it wasn't good enough. World 79 wasn't actually a speedrun because I'd been sucking recently, so I decided to get some practice in by shooting some stuff down and doing some MLGs. And it worked. Sort of. 83 was a decent world, I got some gravel, looted the village, then found a desert temple. Not only did I find one, but I found two, and I really thought I was gonna get blown up by a creeper again, but we were good. I got some flint and steel, then went to the nether, and had a pretty embarrassing death. Then we were on to 84. It took a minute to get wood, and three minutes to get some iron. Then I found some pig to get some meat, and killed an iron golem who was in Irving. He was just asking for it. I found a ruined portal, built it up, almost got shot by a skeleton, went to the nether, killed an enderman, and did some precarious bridging. I made it to a fortress, but then shortly died. World 86 had a village, so I looted it, found a desert temple, then another desert temple, and looted that one as well. I was 13 minutes in and started making the portal, but messed up with it. I eventually made it to the nether and killed all the blazes I needed. And the nether was a little bit precarious, but you know, we were fine. So I went back, did some trading, and got all the ender pearls I needed. I made it into a village, made a new roommate, but realized I couldn't sleep. So I pillowed up, made my bed, and went back down in the morning to get some arrows. I spent some time searching and even boating until I eventually found the fortress. It took several minutes to find the portal, but I eventually got there. I made it into the end, and we were doing really well. We had nine minutes to kill a dragon, and I started attacking him with some beds, but he fireballed me in the middle of the pit, and I died! 87. This one was gonna be the one. I found a portal, went to a cave, and quit. Okay, okay, that was just a bad run. 89, though, was gonna be different. I was doing the normal stuff really quick. I smelted some iron, I killed a pig, I went to the nether, and then I found a bastion, which was pretty good. So I looted it and found a diamond helmet. A freaking diamond helmet. I got out of there, found a fortress in 13 minutes, killed some blaze, went back to the bastion to do some trading. I locked him up, got all of the ender pearls I needed, and went out. We were on the run now. 35 minutes in, we could do this. I threw my eyes of ender and kept going. Then I threw one and it went straight down. So we found the stronghold. I had a little bit of trouble with creepers, but we were all good. Found two iron chest plates, which came in clutch. We were doing extremely well. We had 20 minutes to find the portal and kill the dragon, but this world was terrible. Sometimes the portal room is actually completely sealed off and that's what happened here. So the only way to get to it was by digging. And by that time I had seven minutes. Please. Don't have it end like last time. Oh, yes! This was the problem. Sub hour, come on! Yes. I got all okay, the arrows go. I needed and went to the end. It was getting too close for comfort. Gosh. Right now is when I really got stressed oh, out. Okay. The time is over one hour, but this is the time I saw. This was the length of the recording, and I didn't know how much time was spent doing dev runs at the beginning. Either way, I know I had minutes to spare. So I finished blowing up the dragon, then tried Come to on. shoot him down. I have three arrows. That might be able to do it. That might be able to do it. No, and I missed. I got it. The dragon's coming. The dragon's coming. The dragon's coming. The dragon's coming. Yes! 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 Please, please, come on. Come on. No! Please, just... Oh my gosh! I don't know. Okay, okay, we're checking the files. And after looking at the files... Yes! yes! I did it. I yes! finally beat the game in under one hour. And we actually did it with a couple minutes to spare. But oh my goodness, this is one of the most stressful things I've ever done in Minecraft. 89 different worlds, different fails, different deaths to lead to this moment. It felt so good to be done. And that's the story of how I learned to speedrun Minecraft. Before you go though, I want to hear your story. Have you ever beaten Minecraft? How fast was it? Do you do speedruns? But that's it. My name is RecRap2, or Rec. And if you want to check out this video here, I get into some places I didn't mean to on my server. Well, I mean, I kind of meant to. I broke in. Hope you enjoyed the video.